everybody just We have these great plans to go to the Hot Rod Power Tour in our almighty Ram Charger, but the problem is as it was running like a champ the last couple days, and now she runs like garbage. We have pretty much gone over everything, checked all the connections, battery, coil, stuff like that, and have discovered quite a large vacuum and fuel leak from our little fuel injection system. So we're hoping to possibly make a new gasket because we are not gonna be able to get a Holly kit <laughs> in time. So hopefully we can pull off a miracle and fix it because it runs like a dog do. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's try to fix this. Fuel injection is out. Now it's time to figure out this blown out gasket situation and hopefully remedy our poor running ram charger. <laughs> So since we were down to the wire on time, the only solution we had was to make all of our own gaskets and fabricate what we could with what we had, because unfortunately we just didn't have the time to get the replacement parts. So we tried to pull it out. It ran like great for all of 30 seconds and then ran like garbage again um, and figured that it was getting way too much fuel because there was gas coming out, out the muffler and it was leaking back out the top of the carb or sorry, throttle body, <laughs> if you want to call it a carb. Um, so we took the little mushroom caps off the top of the injectors here. This one looked beautiful and dry as the way it should. This one was nice and wet and soaked with gas. So. Pulled the little injector out to find out we have a lovely clapped out o-ring so i think we have solved our issue hopefully if we can find an o-ring um but we're gonna replace this bad boy with something we can find because this is terrible and hopefully not dump a bunch of fuel and it'll run like chef's kiss again so let's hope maybe we'll make it to power tour maybe we won't <laughs> i don't know i am jerry rigging something that really needs to be replaced but I know I cannot get this in time, so some numbnut decided to break, somehow break or pinch this wire, so we're just gonna put that electrical tape back on and act like we didn't see that, because uh, there's nothing I can do about it now. What do those go to? The injectors, <laughs> which could possibly cause a fire, maybe? Could cause a lot. I guess if we have any injector issues, we know what it is. <laughs> please fix it. Please, 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 please fix it. <laughs> Power tour, here we come. It's another day. We got the Ram Charger to run actually really good, so that was really exciting. Uh, it was kind of 
I don't know. I, I haven't really worked on anything with fuel injection like this. Let me stop myself right there. So for everybody out there who wants to correct me for saying fuel injection over and over again, I'm very aware that this is tuned port injection. But for anybody who has no idea what those two are, what the difference is, tuned port injection is fuel injection directly injected through a throttle body. Fuel injection or direct injection is injected into the intake ports, which goes directly into the cylinders. So it was kind of a cool learning experience, but we found out that one of the gaskets for o-ring should i say for the fuel injection was literally just so clapped out and stretched out that it just was just dumping fuel straight into the uh, throttle body so we quickly replaced that popped it back in everything seems good so far um now we got to change all the fluids kind of just do some uh little tlc here and there and get her ready to get on the road because we're supposed to be getting on the road tomorrow morning and it is like six o'clock so wish us luck <laughs> Unfortunately, we also had a leaky caliper we had to deal with, so we went ahead and replaced both front calipers, new brake pads, just to make sure everything was nice and safe for our road trip. Okay, it's much later. I think we are ready, almost ready, for power tour. James is doing something that I probably will appreciate later, but right now I'm kind of cringing really hard at. You gotta see this. So can you please explain to our lovely viewers, how this works. <laughs> well, the process is we're gonna take the cold air from the night, because we're gonna drive at night down to Pensacola. And the cool air is gonna come into the truck because we have no air conditioning. And it happens to be the hottest week of the summer. Imagine that, we're gonna road trip on the hottest week of the summer with no air conditioning. So I figured this is like survival mode, mode for me. Um, this is not a big, area to catch a lot of air but the air it's going to be catching is going to be nice and cool um, and we're going to pipe it back into the driver's area and the passenger seat this is the dumbest thing we have done so far it, I, I, it's definitely up there if we succeed it won't be this is this is the dumbest thing we've done okay people we are embarking on what I believe to be one of the stupidest things the HH Wheels crew has ever done. We are jumping in an unproven vehicle. We are jamming down to Pensacola, Florida from Hilton Head, South Carolina, which is 500 miles. We are starting uh, the third, fourth day of Power Tour 2022 at Pensacola, Florida at the Pensacola Fairgrounds. And then we will be making it north up to Hampton, Hampton, Georgia. Hampton, Georgia to Atlanta Motor Speedway, and then we will head home, but we couldn't, we Where couldn't we will out. not be drag racing this thing. Which would be cool, but no. No. We just need to get home. <laughs> uh, that, that's quite an interesting look you got there, though. The Walmart farm truck. Yeehaw! Hey, whoever <laughs> drives, we've already made a deal. Whoever drives this thing, whoever's in the driver's seat, has to wear this hat. test. We're on our way! <laughs> Whose turn is it? The captain's taking charge. Oh. You got headlights? Yeah. What time is it? It is 2.40 a.m. Yay. We're not even close to the halfway point. <laughs> we're close to the way. I, I'm taking this seat Yeah, we're nowhere near halfway. I went through some serious fall. I don't want to tell you. I, I know like, I saw it got it. thick. I woke up. That's why I kept closing my eyes. Done, sir. Another leg. Another leg. Hello, oh, sleeping beauty. It's 4 30 in the morning and I'm being forced to wear a <laughs> American cowboy hat. Alright. It's never dull. Give me a yeehaw. Yeehaw. That's it? It's 4 30 in the morning. What else do you want from me? Yeehaw! Yeehaw! You did 
good, baby. Now it's time to rest. After some very needed R&R, we headed over to a local parts store to pick up some extra parts we could need for the next day. Oh, 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 O'Reilly's Auto Parts. Ow! You know, I didn't think we could get any more redneck in this truck, but we just did. So we sent Caroline up to the room to cool off because she is definitely way overheated. A little bit too much action at the pool yesterday. Um, I don't think she can keep up with it, Alex and I. <laughs> We're gonna work on the truck and get it uh, get a little bit uh, more roadworthy. We actually drove all the way down here 500 miles without a temperature gauge. But she ran pretty good. Yeah. So I don't, I don't think we have any issues with that, but it's gonna be, it's 93 today. It's gonna be hotter tomorrow. Hotter tomorrow, so we need a temp gauge. We, we're, gonna, we're gonna put a temp gauge in uh, just for the motor, and then uh, I'm gonna work on this AC system. AC. <laughs> we're calling it AC. If you're wondering why the AC system is getting worked on yet again, it's because James's aircraft grade duct tape only lasted about the first 15 minutes of the trip. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully the butyl will separate. Let's see. Push on. No. Maybe not. Okay. Plan B, take the door off. No. Uh, the plan was to use this to intake and, and this piece right here to actually push the air straight down. Um, that is not gonna work because we cannot get this door off. This thing is butyled in and it's been butyled in since its birth. Pushing that out is gonna be damn near impossible without some kind of heat gun or something like that. And I don't wanna put it out in the sun and bake to do that. So we are going with option number two, which is pipe this in sideways. So I'm going to screw this to the root like this and have these on both sides piping in sideways. The one bad design about this truck is None of the windows in the back open up at all. So you get zero airflow back there. We're fixing that problem. Two of us, we can get this. Good thing in there. <laughs> I knew it, go. Dude. Mm. Dude, people are gonna be laughing about this shit, but I don't really care. <laughs> Hey, do you got a big enough wrench? Wah, wah, wah. All right. So we're hooking up the uh, temperature gauge and my boy Alex here was using this socket wrench because this is all we had that fit one of these. Now, this would be cool if this was actually the size, but it's not the size. This one was the size. And as you can see, it has no threads left on it because they are in there. Yeah, that's right, in there. We are now having to Uber to O'Reilly's and get the part and get an easy out so that we can jam it down in there and, and pull it out. Uh, and hot rod power tour started about 30 minutes ago so we're going to be a little fashionably late if you could get all that stuff i just told you to get and then um me and alex are gonna go get a couple of margaritas at the at the bar sound good okay great good plan job all done. I love how your hands aren't even dirty. What are you talking about? Oh, it's suntan lotion. Here you go for your hands when you get done. Oh, thanks.
items they have on the rack. Oh yeah, well this is your breakdown kit. This so. must be miscellaneous stuff that they picked up on the side of the highway. That would make it that much cooler if that were the case. Is that on the flux capacitor on the thing? Looks like it. It doesn't work, but it's cool. I'm Cole and this is my 1971 Camaro with the LS in it. So me and my dad got this car in February of 2019. We found this car in uh, one of my dad's customer's garages. She had um, stuff piled up all over it. And we cleaned out her garage, gave her some cash, and we took the car from there and restored it all up for 2019 power tour. Day one, hot rod power tour has been pretty awesome. It was it's really fun. We had a lot of fun. It was so freaking hot. But other than that, we met some really great people, saw some really cool cars. Now it's time to go to Atlanta. It really wouldn't be a proper power tour without the honorary power tour sticker. The suffering will now commence. Headed out to Atlanta. <laughs> 325 miles. Heading out with the rest of the hot rodders. <laughs> Just Doing back there, Alex. It's warm. Just a little bit. Just, everybody just Do what you do, what you do, what you do 
this has been hot as hell and we still have to drive five hours home you guys ready for this no yes i don't know i don't know, our I don't know is, anymore our trip is not over until we get home that's true let's see if the ram chargers can do it i think it'll be fine Woo. goodbye atlanta motor speedway Pensacola, we were using the wipers because we had a lot of fog. And uh, of course, when I was using it, it decided to break. Uh, so we haven't had wipers the entire trip, which has been fine. But now we're trying to get the one wiper that we do have to work. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's interesting. The guy who had no idea what was wrong is fixing the problem. <laughs> Alex's moral support. Let's hope we can restore our one wiper that we've only ever had in hopes that, you know, when we do, and if we do hit rain, we will be able to uh, avert that crisis, so. Okay, rain next it is. Understanding the word French. I feel so short trying to freaking wipe this windshield. After another hundred miles or so and no rain, we made it home safely. Well, that's a wrap on Hot Rod Power Tour 2022. We had a fantastic year this year, met some really cool people, saw some really awesome cars, and honestly, I, I, I'm speechless. It was so much fun. We did so much in such a short amount of time. We got a little dehydrated. Got a little hot and sweaty, but the Ram Charger did awesome with pretty much no issues. Cheers to you, Ram Charger. Cheers to James, Alex, everybody who helped out. It was freaking awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave us a like, comment what you want to see us do next. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, don't forget to get out there and get wrenching. And if you guys want to help support the channel, head on over to hhwheelspro.com, pick up a hat, t-shirt, stickers, or other merch.